Hello everyone, how are you doing? So I recently got myself the PS5. Uh, it was literally yesterday and I'm not at my house. I'm not uh, setting it up where I usually have all my consoles. Uh, but I just couldn't uh, contain the excitement. So I booted up the PS5, set it up and uh, you know started playing uh, God of War is what I wanted to play. So I let it download uh, for almost three hours. And then I played uh, a few minutes or maybe almost an hour into God of War. And uh, then I went off to sleep. And this morning I woke up, started the PS5 again and was hoping to continue. And then I realized that uh, my user is not showing. It's only the user one, the default user one that's showing. It's asking me to sign in again. Uh, wasn't too hard. Just use the PS app on the phone. So I didn't have to enter the email ID and uh, the password again. So use the PS app on the phone, signed in. The game was still there. All the games that I'd set for a download in the night, uh, they were downloaded as well. So I went into God of War and then I realized it's asking me to make all the settings all over again. Basically, the game wasn't saved. Uh, now, this was frustrating. Uh, so I played again for a little while, then took a breakfast break. The PS turned off on its own because that is what the default setting was uh, because of the power saving. I came back to the game, or rather I came back to the console, Again, the same thing. It asked me to log in again. And now it was looking a little frustrating. Still did that. Went back to the game. Again, the same things. Again, it's asking me to set the brightness and, uh, you know, say, uh, set the game data and all of those things. The configuration again turned up. So basically, it had again not saved the game. It was frustrating. So I uh, did a quick Google search and uh, looks like there are quite a few uh, articles about this, but uh, I didn't really find any definitive uh, you know, solution to this. Everyone just kept ranting about this problem and un uh, the answers were just echoing that problem again, but no one really had a solution. Uh, but I have now found the solution after reading quite a bit and that is why this quick video. Now, because I've already downloaded the games and I don't want to download those huge files again, uh, I can't show this to you from scratch. Uh, but uh, anyone who is facing this issue and has come to this video for that uh, will understand quickly what I'm talking about. So on the screen right now you can see my uh, user ID but usually you will just see user1 over here. Uh, so you know just, just take this to be user1 uh, just for the sake of it. So once you select the user uh, you know you will come, uh, come into the home screen. So just go to the settings uh, button. It's right on top. Uh, you know it's right on top there in the right hand corner. So go into the settings. And once you are in the settings, go to user accounts, users and accounts, sorry. And you will not see login settings. You will not see this setting uh, on the default user one. So what you need to do essentially is, uh, you know, you go into users and in users, you will add a user. Don't directly sign in from your uh, PS app on the main screen. Get into user one, get into settings, get into users and accounts, come to users, go to add user. Once you select add user, you know, it will make you agree the, uh, the end user license agreement. Once you do that, I'll just show it to you for now. Agree, confirm, and then it will take you to the login screen. Uh, you will have to select your, I mean, you, you'll get a, your login screen. This is showing me this because uh, I'm creating a new user here, but it will take you to the login screen, the one that you had seen right at the beginning, something similar to that. That time you can either enter your email ID and password, or you can simply uh, just use the PS app and do this. Uh, and once you add the user using this menu, then you will see this login settings. And once you've logged into your user, go into login settings. And here you can choose to log into the PS5 automatically. Uh, you can also set a PS5 login passcode if you're coming from the Xbox. Uh, you know, uh, Xbox has something similar. So you can simply just select a, a number combination uh, that you can use as a passcode. And, you know, every time you don't need to enter your password, you can just select this combination of numbers and you will be in. So I'm canceling that for now. But I hope this helps you if you are also facing the same issue that I was facing with the login. Let me know in the comments below. So now you can see I'm rebooting the console. And this time around, it will show me the user. There, it's already logged me in directly because I did not choose any passcode. And instead of a user one, I just have one account right now, which is mine. Uh, so if you want to add, you know, more accounts, this is how you want to do it. This is exactly how you do it. Go to settings, users, uh, users and accounts, and that is where you add the account. Uh, so that it doesn't treat the new account like a guest account. 
So essentially what the PS5 was doing for me uh, yesterday and this morning was that it was treating my account as a guest account. It was letting me log in, play and then leave like a guest. And then coming back was not giving me, uh, you know, all the save game uh, data that I wanted. So this is the solution. I hope it works for you. Like I said, just let me know in the comments below if it works.